Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Alan Sams, and today we're taking a look at the Yamaha Revstar 2. This is the standard model. There are three models in this series. You have the Element, which is the entry-level model. It runs somewhere around $400. Then you have this one that runs $799, $800. And then there's the Professional Series, which is the, the high end, and that's about $2,000. Uh, there are some things with this guitar that are very familiar, especially if you play, you know, a Les Paul. And probably at this price point, it would be more like an Epiphone Les Paul. Uh, but there are some things that really set this guitar apart and make it, its, make it very much its own. Um, and there are some nice features that at $7.99 that come with this guitar that, you know, they're great. Makes, it, makes the guitar that much more of a great value. All right, so let's get into some of the specs here. You've got a mahogany body with a maple cap. The body is, is bound. The neck is bound. You've got a mahogany neck with a satin finish, so it feels very smooth, very easy to play. You have a real rosewood fretboard instead of Indian laurel um, or another substitute. You have 22 jumbo stainless steel frets, which is a really nice feature. And they are done. These, these are done really, really well. Um, definitely finished, rounded over, look very good. If you can see that or not, bring it up here. Uh, the, the tuners on here are no, are, they're not really branded. They're a vintage style looking tuner. Hold tune well. They, uh, the, the keys themselves move very smoothly. Uh, you've got, <laughs> you know, tunematic bridge, stop bar tailpiece, again, very kind of less polish. And then you've got two Alnico 5 um, humbuckers here. Now, here's where things start to kind of really get very different. So, this guitar has a five-way blade selector, as you can see here. And, you know, it does have like the, you know, you've got your, you know, First position, middle position, which is both pickups, you know, and then bridge, you know, all the way down in the fifth position. In two and four, though, it engages both pickups, and in two, the neck is standard, but the bridge is out of phase. When you go to four, the bridge is standard and the neck is out of phase. So it kind of gives it like, um, like you were coil tapping it, almost like a almost a single coil sound to it, uh, without the sixty cycle hum of a single coil pickup. So one of the things that makes this guitar really unique is the when you pull out on the tone pot here. Okay, it's not coil splitting. It's not turning the humbuckers into single coils. It's actually a boost. This guitar is 100% passive, so they had to create a circuit in a passive guitar that when you pull that out, actually makes the guitar a little bit a little bit louder, it darkens the sound, actually almost drives the guitar a little bit. Now, when you're playing clean, if you're in the neck, if you pop that out, just keep that in mind that, that your sound's going to get a little darker, and it could actually, you know, even start to distort a little bit. Roll it, roll off your tone some, and I think that will help you. But uh, let's take a listen to it.
when I bought this guitar, I, I, I had watched a lot of videos on it because, like I said, this guitar came out a couple months, you know, a few months ago, and they were sent to a lot of the major YouTube channels. So, um, my purpose for buying this guitar, other than obviously to make a YouTube video, was uh, actually because I wanted something different, uh, and I think this guitar offers that. I think it definitely offers a lot of really, uh, you know, it offers a lot of unique things. Uh, as far as you know how the circuitry works and how the electronics work um, it offers a lot of nice features like the rosewood fretboard and stainless steel frets on it uh, this is my first yamaha guitar so I was, i'm really impressed i was really blown away i've heard i've seen a lot of guys who commented on you know or done videos about the pacifica and how they really like those guitars and uh you know i, I think yamaha is a winner um this is a, I would highly recommend this guitar uh, for anybody, whether you were, you know, looking for your next guitar or if you're looking for something different. This thing is really, it's a lot of fun to play and uh, it's something I've been enjoying. So listen guys, listen, as always, I want to thank you for your support and uh, until next time, take care.